Remember the blue hands I made in a previous video? Well, I fitted them into a new watch. Looks good. But when I turn it to the back, well, there is your usual basic movement, a Miata 8215. It works fine, but it looks a bit boring. Let's give it a new look. Now, that's better. What I did was to flame blue these screws. For those of you who watched our previous video, you'll know what it is. And if you haven't, you might want to watch that video first, since you'll understand what I'm about to do better. Let's walk you through step by step how I arrive at these screws. Let's get going. To flame blue them, first we'll identify which one we can blue, because only specific metal parts can be blued. Take this rotor for example. You can heat this all you want, but it won't change colour. That's because it's nickel plated. Only steel parts can be blued. Fortunately, that means most of the screws can be blued. To save you time, I did some testing on some common movements, and you can see for yourself which screws can be blued and which cannot. If you don't plan on disassembling the movement, the simplest way to blue screws is to take out and blue one screw at a time. The bigger bridges are held down by multiple screws and will stay in place while you do so. Some bridges, like the balance bridge, are only held down by one screw, but if you are careful with it, the bridge will stay in place. Ok, let's start. Remember from another video that hygiene is important, so I'll clean the screw with Rodico first, then put it onto the blueing tray. Heat it slowly and evenly, and then quench it when the right colour is reached. Then I'll put it back to the movement and start with the next one. Sometimes a screw can be made of a slightly different steel composition. That'll require a different temperature to reach the same colour. Like this rotor screw, it takes a lower temperature to reach the same blue. Ok, I've blued all the screws, and that's how the movement looks now. Not bad. But as a DIYer, why not take it a step further? If we look closely at this screw, you can see that the surface of a screw is quite crude. That's pretty common for a basic movement like this. Remember how we talked in another video that bluing does not affect the surface finish? That means we can give it a better finish first before bluing it, and the results will look much better. I'll give this set of screws a nice polish, working with progressively finer diamond paste to get to a high polish. Once I get the polish I want, I'll put it to the flame. And, just because I can, for this set of screws, I'll give them a straight grain. And then flame blue them. And this is the result. Here is the movement of the polished blue screws. You can see how the polished screws look very different from the unpolished ones. As if they're made from a different material. Almost a glass-like texture. On the other hand, the straight grain gives this set an entirely different texture. I like this for its subtle play of light at different angles. I'll put these three movements side by side and let you compare them yourself. Which one do you like best? Let us know down below. But wait, there's more. In the course of making this video, I stumbled upon something quite fascinating. Notice how the screw slot on the refinished screw is not blued? Compare this with a screw I didn't polish, which is blued in its entirety. It seems like during the course of refinishing the screws, the top layer of a screw head, possibly a protective coating or a hardened surface, is removed, and that reveals the steel underneath and we mentioned that blue and temperatures differ for different metal compositions and properties. So the screw head gets blued at a lower temperature, while the rest of the screw stays the same. We can test this theory by heating this up again until the slot turns blue. As you can see, the screw head turned grey, which is the colour it's at when it's overheated. At the same time, the slot and the backside turn blue. This shows you that steel of different compositions and properties does blow at different temperatures. And of course, here's how this screw looks on the movement. This is an unconventional look, but it's fascinating to see how the principles of bluing can create interesting effects like this. I guess that's a good note to end the video on. 
So until next time, have fun with your watch.